Hey Artland, how's it going? So today is going to be the first video where I actually draw one of the subscribers submissions in my own style. So this first submission is really cool. This person made an awesome drawing and this Titan is called the Ultra Crawler. Now the Ultra Crawler has the ability to breathe radioactive fire. It has really good eyesight because it has these seven eyes on its head. And then it can actually swim in water. And not only does it have four arms, but also its tail can actually act like a second or a fifth arm, I should say, that can actually uh, attack enemies and hold on to them. So this is just a really cool drawing and I can't wait to draw this in my own style. So I'm just going to kind of show you guys how I would draw this if this was my creature that I came up with. So I would want to start with the eyes. So I'm going to start right up here, kind of like in the top corner of the paper, and I'm just going to draw a line that just kind of curves up and then it's going to come down like this. Then I'm just going to make another one that just kind of curves down and up. And I'm going to kind of make this that big eye right in the middle. Then starting here, I'm going to make kind of like another one of these little shapes. And then I'm going to draw another one right here. And I say Miami's coming back to help us. And then I'm just going to put a smaller one right here in the top. Now, starting right here, I'm going to add a little kind of curved line like this. And then I'm just going to make a little line that's just going to kind of go up and then down. And then I'm just going to kind of add a little line that's going to connect up to here. Now right here I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of go up like this. And then over here I'm just going to add another little line that's just going to kind of run back. Now, starting here, I'm just gonna draw a line. It's just gonna go down and I'm going to kind of bring this down and then up and down and then up like this. Then I'm just going to kind of draw this line down and kind of curve it like this. And then I'm just gonna bring it down to here and then kind of curve around just for like where the chin would be. Now this thing's got some really cool kind of details on the jaw. So I'm just gonna put like a little line that kind of curves down like this and then another one that comes down and it's gonna kind of curve up. And I'm gonna kind of bring it into like these kind of spiky little lines like this. Now right up here, I'm going to add a little line. It's gonna go up and then I'm just gonna kind of curve this back into like a really cool spike. And then I'm gonna add another little kind of line that curves back and then another kind of spike like this. Now I'm gonna add a little kind of curved line right here, a couple little lines in it. And then this ultra crawler has a mouth full of teeth. So I'm gonna draw lots of teeth in here and I'm gonna kind of keep it like the original drawing and nothing too crazy, like nothing huge, no monstrous like fangs or anything, but just kind of like teeth that are all about the same size, but it's just kind of filled with lots and lots of teeth everywhere. Now, because this is aquatic, it kind of has like these little kind of thin kind of gill shapes coming down here. So I'm just going to add some little lines that kind of go out and then they're just gonna kind of curve back. And then I'm just gonna add a few more of these that just kind of come around here. And they're looking a little bit like spikes, but I want these to kind of be more like thin. So I'm going to kind of add these little lines in here just so it gives them a little bit more of like an aquatic look. Now, something up here I don't want to forget is I want to add the nostril. So I'm going to make a line that just kind of curves down like this, and I'm just going to kind of curve it around. And then let's add the pupils really quick while we're up here. So I'm just going to kind of add some kind of like snake pupil shapes in here. 
just because this is kind of like what the original design looked like. And I'm going to add one that just kind of goes down and then kind of curves up like this. Now, so this creep, this altar crawler has some massive, massive forearms. So I'm going to start right up here and I'm just going to draw a line. It's going to kind of come up and then I'm just going to kind of bring it down here. Then I'm going to start right over here and I'm going to draw another line. It's going to kind of curve up and another one down here. And then right here, I'm going to just kind of add a line that's just going to kind of come down. And then I'm going to start on the claws. So I'm going to draw a line that's just going to kind of go up and then come down for kind of like this really big kind of first sharp claw. And then I'm going to add like some smaller ones right along here. Just kind of curve them up. I'm going to add another one kind of right over here, kind of go in the opposite direction. And then I'm going to add one that's almost kind of like a thumb over here. We'll kind of bring it right around here. Then I'm going to kind of add a few little like spike shapes on here just to kind of give it a little bit more of like some armor plating right here. And then I'm going to give it, he's got these really cool kind of like blue and yellow stripe patterns on here. So I'm going to bring these in right to about there. I want to make these just look a little bit more kind of like of a natural look. Now this ultra crawl crawler, I want to give him kind of like a sturdy neck like this. And then I'm going to add a little line. So just going to kind of curve in and back. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Now, I'm going to draw a little line back here, and then I want to add another one of these kind of smaller arms. So I'm going to add another one that's just going to kind of go up, and then it's going to come down like this. I'm going to add a little curved line, and I'm just going to bring this line down. And then I'm going to kind of add these little claws onto here as well. So I'm just going to add some small ones here, one right here, and we'll add another one there. So we have some more kind of arms and we'll add a few more little spikes onto here. Then right over here, I'm going to just kind of add the extra arm on, like on this one. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to make this line kind of come down like this. And then I'm going to add just kind of like a big claw right here, a couple little extra lines. I'm going to add that really big kind of massive front claw that they have, or this ultra crawler has. Bring a couple more right around here. Add a few little lines, and I'm just going to kind of bring this arm back here. Then just so we can kind of see that other arm, I'm just going to add a little kind of like a bump here. And then I'm just going to kind of add a few little kind of sharp claws down here just to show that it is here. Now, starting here, what I want to do is he's looking a little chubby on this side. And I didn't really want him to look like super chubby. I want him to look like he can really move through the water well. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of add a line. It's just going to kind of curve around here. And I'm just going to kind of bring this up to here. Now, he's got these kind of extra little like dorsal fins on here. And since I'm kind of running out of room, I'm actually going to move them down just a bit. And I'm going to put one right here just to kind of show that this can kind of help this ultra crawler move a little bit faster in the water if need be. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of take this and I'm going to kind of curve this down. And then right here, I'm going to just kind of add a little bit of a curved line right around here. Just kind of form that tail. And then 
I want to add these really cool kind of extra kind of claws on here. So I'm just going to kind of add these. I'm going to make some a little bit bigger than others just to kind of show that they could really grab something if need be. Now, what I'm going to do too is I'm going to just kind of add a little line that goes right up here just to kind of show where, you know, the body is. I don't want him to look too gigantic and massive, so I want him to kind of show that he is pretty streamlined and that, you know, he could kind of move these to kind of help him swim and everything. So here is kind of like our basic drawing of the Ultra Crawler. Now what I want to do is I want to kind of come in and add some of those different details just to kind of really make this pop. And I'm going to go a little bit faster through this part. So let's start on the face. So I really like the details that were added on the face. So I'm just going to draw some extra little lines kind of around here. A few little broken lines on here. Some extra lines right here. A few little lines around there. And then some extra little lines around the eyes. I'm going to kind of add like maybe like a little bit of a tongue in here that would just kind of hang out. Make kind of like reptilian. And I'm just going to add an extra little line over here. Just to kind of show where the other side of the mouth is. Kind of add a few little extra lines right around here. I want to add just a few line, a line or two around these claws. And then I'm just going to add a few extra lines kind of right around here. Kind of show where the skin is stretching. A couple little lines right here, just for some details. A couple extra lines here. These claws are going to add some more of those little quick lines. And on these extra arms too. Now this one, I'm going to kind of add a little curved line over here. And then just kind of make like a little bit of a wavy pattern for some of the details and designs on here. Then on this one, I'm just gonna add a little line here and then just kind of bring that kind of wavy line pattern. I'm gonna be using lots of blues and yellows to color this. A Couple little extra lines on here. I'm actually gonna add that extra kind of shape right over here for this extra kind of part of the head. Then I might even add just some kind of extra like parts of like those little kind of thin gill shape, gill kind of shape looking things over here. A few little extra lines on the face. A couple of extra lines around there. Add some little detail lines around the claws and everything. Some kind of little broken lines here just to add detail. I'm going to add a nice little long line that just kind of goes right around here. And then I'm going to add these quick little long broken lines. And this is just going to kind of make it not so much like a scaly bottom, but just kind of gives it a little bit of detail. We'll add some quick little lines here. We can just kind of come in and add some broken lines. I'm going to give him, and I hope our artist doesn't mind, I'm going to give him some kind of spikes back here too. Just to kind of help it, you know, add a little more to it. And I apologize if our artist that turned this in does not enjoy that. Just let me know in the comments. And I'm just going to add a few little extra lines. This has got like a cool little extra thin pattern on here. Add a few little extra lines on this one of these extra arms over here. And it's kind of like a little wavy pattern there. And maybe a line or two right there. And there we go. There is the drawing of the Ultra Crawler. Now, like I said, this is an awesome, you know, submission that was turned in. And I think this one turned out pretty cool. Definitely let me know what you guys think. And please keep submitting them. I definitely want to do a lot more of these. I have a bunch more that I'm going to draw. But, you know, we're just kind of working through them right now. Looks like Miami gives her approval too. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you guys would like to see some more, please let me know. I've got a lot of submissions that I want to try drawing. So I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed.